Hello, Scam Squad. Today we're going to talk about unit rates. Before we talk about unit rates, we should review what a rate is. A rate is a comparison of two quantities with different units. And a rate is normally represented as a fraction. For instance, if someone drives 400 miles in four hours, we could represent this with the fraction 400 over four. So now I would guess you're thinking, what's the difference between a rate and a unit rate? Unit rate actually is a type of rate, but it must have a denominator of one. For example, if someone drove 100 miles in one hour, we could represent this as the fraction 100 over one. How do you find the unit rate, you ask? Well, it's simple. If you have a rate, all you have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's go back to our example. We had 400 miles in four hours. In order to find the unit rate, we would divide the numerator by the denominator. So 400 divided by four equals 100. And our unit rate would be 100 miles in one hour. Whoa, I actually solve it a different way. What I do is I divide the numerator and the denominator by whatever number is in the denominator. So for example, if it was 400 over four, I could divide both the numerator and denominator by four, which still gives me the answer of 100 miles in one hour. So who's correct? You make a good point. Let's take a look at it. So now that we have both methods on the screen, let's take a closer look and see what is different. The only difference is that in method number two, he divided the denominator by four. So how did we get the same answer? There is a simple yet interesting answer to that question. In method number one, we divided the numerator by the denominator which gave us an answer of 100. Remember though, that we can change any whole number into a fraction by giving it a denominator of one. So 100 is equal to 100 over one. And that is why both answers are correct. Nice. So I bet you're thinking, how do we use this in the real world? Well, we can use unit rates to find the price of individual items at a store, which can save us a lot of money, which is definitely a good thing. Today, we're gonna to compare items from two different stores, use the unit rate to determine which is a better buy. The first item we're comparing is the delicious Rice Krispie Treats. At one store, they sell it in a box of 16, but at the other store, they sell it in a box of 60 both for different prices. Which is a better buy? The first step to solving this problem is to create rates for each item. The money will be the numerator for each rate and the number of treats will be the denominator. The next step is to divide the numerators by the denominators. So 10.89 divided by 60 equals 0.181 and 4.29 divided by 16 equals 0 0.268. But since we're dealing with money, we have to round to the nearest hundred, which lets us know that the box with 60 Rice Krispie treats will cost 18 cents per treat, and the box with 16 Rice Krispie treats, it will cost 27 cents per treat. So we can see the better buy is the box with 60 bars. So the final item we're gonna be comparing is macaroni and cheese. But now it's your turn. I want you to find the unit rate and determine which one is a better buy. At one store, they sell 18 boxes in a pack. And at the other store, they sell five boxes in a pack with different prices. The prices are listed, so I want you to find the unit rate and determine which one is a better buy. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume it when you're ready to see the solution. You got this.
After creating the rates and dividing the numerators by the denominators, we can see that the pack with 18 boxes of mac and cheese is the better buy. So I'm hoping you got that last problem correct. Me too. I'm hoping so too. And I'm hoping that you can see how unit rate can be very helpful and can actually save you money. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video today, make sure to subscribe.